Composer Gloves here, and this is another video in the Science of Basics. Today we're talking about formants and resonance. What is formants and resonance? I'm glad you asked. Formants and resonance. Resonance, uh, it can sort of be two things resonance can be. Formants is a type of resonance. Resonance is usually associated with filters. It's a boost in amplitude at a harmonic. So instead of the fundamental getting louder, well, I guess this could apply to the fundamental. Some harmonics are emphasized. Usually resonance is attached to a frequency of a filter cutoff. So wherever our cutoff of our filter is, we will get a boost in amplitude. So we can turn our resonance on. And I'm using Harmer. You could use anything. Almost everything will have a like massive has this. Almost everything that has to do with the filter will have some sort of resonance knob. As I move my filter around. <laughs> That's resonance. Now you might not want it that loud. If I turn my resonance off, it is essentially a volume knob. If I now I can make, I have some choices in this one. This may not be something that you can have all these parameters for in other DAWs, and in some cases they may modulate on their own. They may change according to where you put the frequency spectrum. So if you put your frequency here, maybe the resonance will get wider and affect more bands. But if we change the width, we can move it down to essentially a single frequency. So now you get it. It's a boost in the frequencies wherever the cutoff is. Now, what if resonance isn't at where the cutoff is? That would be formants, and your voice has formants. In fact, let me pull my voice up here. So here is my voice. How great is that? And as you can see, now there's a number of other things that are happening besides, it's just kind of trippy to look at my own voice. It, there are a number of other things that are happening besides just um, formants. There's a lot of other things that come into play here. Things like syllabants, which are the s, like that, the sh, those kinds of things that make speech more legible. So, or intelligible, not legible. We'll notice that some frequencies, though, are heavily louder than other frequencies, especially with certain syllables. This is called formants. And if you want to make something a uh, synthesizer that sounds like it's talking, you're going to recreate this artificially by putting a bunch of resonances. You're going to make certain frequencies louder than other frequencies, and you will get a lot of resonance. So you can see here, these are unusually louder, while this section is not as loud, and then this section just gets soft. If I uh, if I change the formats of my voice, I could I could talk like this, and you see the resonance changes. See, as you can see there, we have a very different overtone and resonance structure, and that changes the overall uh, timbre. I can say timbre now. You know what that is. So that is what formants and resonance are. They're very very useful sound design tools. I use it in my uh, if you look up symbolic by me on my channel, you'll see a bass. And one of the main bases is like, I think it's like I only use a few bases in that song. It has resonance as a main feature. I, I turn this on and off and it creates a really big biting texture in the sound. I use something along those lines, maybe a bit wider. And then I distort it and do a bunch of other things. But that's what resonance is. That's what formance is. Now, I guess I should cover syllabants while I'm at it. Syllabants on the syllabants are usually in the upper part of the frequency range between 7.5 and they're usually somewhere above 5K. And they allow you, your speech when I go, S -s -s, you can see here, my that's a little high. I go, S -s -s, make it lower. Um, they're usually around there. Those are really important for voice intelligibility. Some people will de-emphasize it in a song because they consider it more important to, for it, they, they feel like it sticks out and it makes the song not so great. Or sometimes they, it causes issue when you're trying to compress something. And they just, there's a number of reasons why you'd want to do that. You want to be careful because you can reduce intelligibility. Now, uh, I recommend going and looking up what a vocoder is at this point. If you're interested in an example of introducing syllabants, because, uh, Many vocoders will actually take that frequency range and not filter it and let the syllabants through. That way you can uh, you can understand what the vocoder is doing. A vocoder is that thing that makes your voice sound sort of like a robot. Now, I recommend going and check out my FL12. I'm not going to be covering effects in great detail in this series. But I felt like resonance and formants were things that were important for this type of a deal. So... Just so you know, that's what those things are as principles, and they're really common across pretty much all 
synthesis engines. They're just they're just different ways of controlling volume, sort of really fancy volume controls. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day. Opposing